American Indian Counseling Center is a mental health center for American Indians and Alaska Natives within Los Angeles County. And our goal is to provide mental health services. So that includes individual therapy, group therapy, case management, psychiatry, crisis management, whatever goes into treating someone holistically in terms of their mental health care. This is the first um, American Indian collaboration that's countywide, I think, in all the United States. AICC started in 1987. It was uh, designed to work with the Native American population. After the Relocation Act uh, stopped, uh, there was a lot of mental health services out there. There was a lot of substance abuse, so it was designed for that. They first housed in the same building, Rio Hondo Cerritos. It was close to Spa 6 because there was a population of Native Americans in Long Beach, Whittier, Bell Gardens, so that was the closest mental health. AICC has grown. It started off just with a skeleton crew, and during that time they were trying to get more staff, such as a psych tech, a psychiatrist, so there was a lot of positions open. It progressed into where we're at right now. We actually have a building. Uh, we pretty much have a full staff. Our goals at AICC are to continue to work with the population throughout Los Angeles County. Other projects we have coming up are really looking at the integration of culture into um, our system because it is a very westernized system and really is important for us as clinicians to touch base with our clients and how culture is important. Whether or not they're American Indian or Alaska Native, if they are from any other ethnic group, how does culture help them heal? We're able to provide comprehensive services in terms of therapy, case management, housing. We're able to work with a client who might be homeless, living in a riverbed, get them in a shelter, um, get them in a home. This is an amazing clinic, and everyone in this clinic has the heart to serve the underserved community, the Native Americans and American Indians. The client has to feel that somebody cares for them and they're not just a number or a statistics in a clinic. The client has to feel that somebody really wants to support their goals and help them reach it. I'm a support for the psychiatrist. I do a lot of medication support and management for the clients. We talk about and discuss all the adverse side effects and the usage and indications of the medication that's being given to them. We're also starting a children's wellness program. So the idea behind that program is that we go out in the community, we engage children and families as a prevention and early intervention project. We provide services for children from 0 to 18, sometimes 21. Depends on the status with the Department of Children and Family Services. Services include individual therapy, groups, and also medical case management. It's a sense of family togetherness, um, that they're actually here for you and your needs and your, your children's needs. We're doing cultural crafts and basically learning more about our culture. I think it's very healing for all of us to come together as a group. As a community, historical trauma and a lot of things throughout history have kind of split us all apart. And so it really becomes a, a little community in and of itself. We have a client-run garden on our premises. That is one thing that the, this garden has done is bring the community together. People hang out. A lot of, a lot of friends have been made here and we're going to look at the garden and how gardening helps connect individuals to their culture and tradition and also how it promotes mental health care. Hi, welcome to AICC, how can I help you? Yeah, I have an important for an intake. Okay, um, go ahead and fill this paper. And then let me know when you're done, we'll, we'll bring you in. All right, thank you. Thank you. 
Once your financial documentation is completed, you will be met by your intake clinician. Iva? Hi, I'm Angela. I'm your therapist nice for today. To meet you. How are you doing today, Iva? I'm okay. Good. How That's are you? Good. I'm fine, thank you. Take a seat. Your intake clinician will explain client confidentiality and your rights as a client. During the intake, you will share the reasons you are seeking mental health care and how your symptoms are creating difficulty in your life. You will share your history and how this plays a role in who you are today. It is really important for your clinician to understand who you are as a whole person. Come on in, Iva. Take a seat. After the initial intake, your clinician will meet with you to discuss a culturally relevant treatment plan to help you balance your mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. During the course of your care, your clinician will highlight historical trauma and how this may influence your path to resilience. Your treatment will focus on the cultural relevancy of traditions for healing purposes and wellness. We will discuss how historical trauma plays a role in you, your families, and your community's mental health needs. The significance of the elders gathering is to honor the teachings honor the tradition and to educate non-native people about the importance and connection to the land and pass on those traditions through oral history, oral teachings, grandfather to grandson, from grandmother to granddaughter, to uh, teach the young ones and give the space for the elders to share those things through spoken word, through song, through dance, to pass those on to our to the next seven generations. I think these gatherings are important for our community to bring the people together and sharing through our spoken word and music and dance and celebrating our culture, celebrating our life. And to do that openly and, and to take pride in our culture uh, because at one time uh, we weren't allowed to practice our culture and tradition so it's part of our healing to be able to practice our culture. I think our clinic uh, is striving to incorporate traditional values, Native American values and to have the balance of Western clinical uh, models of, of healing but also remembering uh, our culture has the teachings, our culture has the solutions and it's just a matter of uh, having that balance of those two. Indigenous Peoples Day is new to LA. Um, this is our second annual celebration. And for our community, uh, it's about changing the narrative and telling the right story of what happened. And so this celebration is a day to change the narrative and tell about the truth and the power that already and has been within our community for a millennia. Our community has suffered a lot of trauma, but what we're trying to do here today is remind people that when you talk about trauma, you also have, and historical trauma, we also have that historical love and that historical resilience and strength. We stand on generations of our ancestors fighting for us to be here. And um, because of that fight, because of that struggle, a lot of people, um, now have the opportunity to start engaging with the systems that initially, you know, oppressed communities like ours. We're seeing ourselves more in the media. We're seeing ourselves more taking elected positions in Congress, for instance. Um, and I think it's just remembering, remembering the good things that our ancestors sacrificed for and still moving forward, knowing that we're building on that work, we're building on that love that they set down for us.
I think there's a lot of things that we need and especially space being one. So if we had our own building, we could have a drumming group, a singing group, burning sage, where there's not anyone kind of wondering whether this is appropriate. It's appropriate because the community says it's appropriate. We see AICC heading more towards an integrated treatment approach where we not only provide for an integrate traditional practices, but that we're able to more formally integrate them into our treatment delivery system. I have to say that it's one of the most special places that I've had an opportunity to work in, not only because uh, you know we treat primarily Native American clients or patients, but because the staff there, they're really special. A lot of them are Native, but even the ones who are not, they really put their heart and soul into it. This is a good program that everybody should uh, see into because it changes your life and it makes you to a better person. I see it really expanded more and taken notice of, of the indigenous people, Native Americans and all of us. That's what I would like to see. Overall, you know, really the goal is just to make sure that we help our community so that, you know, you hear of seven generations, those coming after us so that they are healthy and they're in a space where they know how to manage their emotions and manage urban city life and still pursue their goals and live up to their potential. I am very hopeful with where we're going right now with working within Department of Mental Health. I'm here because many of my relatives had, you know, got assistance, came through the county to, for help, and I want to be a familiar face. I want to be a safe place.